The promoter of Tiafimo Lopez, Bob Aram, was in town over the weekend for the Oscar Valdez Emmanuel Navarrete fight and basically he gave some comments about Tiafimo Lopez and what the future looks like for him. It's been a couple days since I've read these quotes and I forgot to do a video about it on the, on the time and I haven't gone back and found it. I'm just doing it off the top of my head but he said something along the lines of they're looking to get Tiafimo Lopez out I think at the end of the year and then they're looking to put him in a mega fight. Now the reason why I'm not too bothered about that quote there and being specific about the details is because that's essentially got nothing to do with what he said next and basically the whole point in this video is Bob Barron went on to say that he would be open to making Tiafimo Lopez versus Ryan Garcia providing Ryan Garcia is available to fight obviously Ryan Garcia may have some promotional issues going on in the background it's no secret that him and Oscar De La Haya have sort of gone back and forth over social media so there may be some legal stuff going on in the background which may prevent the fight from happening but if Oscar is still representing him and it is available like Ryan is available to make a fight with Tiafimo Lopez. Bob Arum is open to exploring that fight. He also mentioned that he's good friends with Oscar De La Hoya and some other guy that works at Golden Boy. Essentially what he's saying when you read between the lines is it's not a hard fight to make providing the diva is available to fight essentially. That's what he's saying and that's basically what it is. So subject to Ryan Garcia's availability or you know lack of lawsuits or whatever the fight can be made and Bob Aaron be open to making it I think Oscar De La Hoya as well he would probably be open to making the fight as well I would imagine that Ryan Garcia would probably have a run out himself maybe end of the year and then early next year they'll get together and maybe try and make this fight providing like they can if you know what I mean now as for the fight itself I don't think it's a good fight for Ryan Garcia I don't think any fight against any champion is a good fight for Ryan Garcia he's basically done nothing to deserve his shot now he's been in there with tankies and I call himself a pay-per-view star Fair enough, do you know what, he's been in the highest pay-per-view for the last, I don't know, five, seven years or whatever it is, so you can't really mock him for that. It may even be longer than that, to be fair. I'm not even sure if Canelo Golovkin won outdid that fight there. It may not have done, I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but put it this way, he's been involved in a big pay-per-view, so he's got that big pay-per-view ego. Tiafimo Lopez hasn't really been involved in the big pay-per-view or any pay-per-views, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he's a pay-per-view fighter yet. And with that being said, I don't think... Ryan Garcia can do a pay-per-view at 140 without Tiafimo Lopez, if you know what I mean. So Tiafimo Lopez is probably the only guy that can bring Ryan Garcia a massive payday. And Tiafimo Lopez's team are open to making that fight with Ryan Garcia, aka El Diva. Now the question is, is it a 50-50 fight in terms of split? I think Ryan Garcia and that will try and get the lion's share, if I'm not mistaken. But at the same time, Tiafimo does have the belt. He does have a bit of a following himself. And without him, it's not a pay-per-view fight. Like Ryan Garcia isn't. I mean, even though he is a pay-per-view fighter, now officially he was involved in that big pay-per-view. You put him in against Matias, Sabriel Matias, it's not a pay-per-view fight in my opinion. You put him in against Regis Progre, it's not a pay-per-view fight in my opinion. The only fight that would be considered a pay-per-view at that weight, in my opinion, is Tiafimo Lopez. So if they want the big bucks, they're going to have to sort of negotiate and find a way to get this fight done. I think just do 50-50. That way, everyone eats, everyone wins, apart from the guy who loses the fight on the night. But other than that, profile-wise, money-wise, he'll win as well. So it's all good. I think that's what you need to go for. I do like this fight. It's a fight that I sort of champion. I do want to see. I think that Tiafimo Lopez beats the crap out of Ryan Garcia. I think that's why I want to see this fight so much. I'm not Ryan Garcia's biggest fan. I think he's a diva. I think he quit in his previous fight. He's had like tantrums on social media. He spits his dummy out all the time. Not, not for me like if he was to do all that on the outside and then deliver inside the ring it's a different proposition it's a different conversation i'd re resentfully i'd respect him but he's not delivering he's just acting out most of the time and i have i find that hard to respect i say if he was knocking people out and then acting a fool fair enough do you know what you do what you gotta do until someone beats you and hands your ass to you i can't say anything but the fact that he's just been whooped and he quit and on top of that, he's going on diva-ish. Doesn't really work for me, but it is what it is. So I got Tiafimo Lopez as a heavy favourite for that fight, should they make it. I think Tiafimo Lopez beats him, schools him, and knocks him out in spectacular fashion. I don't think, like, Ryan Garcia gets in the fight at all. People are like, oh, hand speed, this... Where was all that stuff you guys are talking about? Where was all that in the tank fight? And Tank's a smaller guy, so if you can't really put a dent in Tank, you're not really going to put a dent in Tiafimo Lopez. I think Tiafimo Lopez batters him, beats him up, takes his soul and goes on to bigger and better things so just to confirm bob aram would like to make that fight or at least start having some conversations around that fight providing ryan garcia is available to have the fight he said that he's friends with oscar de la Hoya and some other guy at golden boy so getting the fight together and getting it made shouldn't really be a problem and i'm for it i hope they make this fight and my reason being is i just want tfimo lopez to smash ryan garcia's face in that's basically the bottom line it is what it is like comment share subscribe or don't i'll catch you on the next one
love.